Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a review on this curling iron right here called Hot Shot Tools by Helenoff Troy. But before we get started, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you guys like reviews, videos like this. Let me know. So without further ado, let's get on into it. So first things first, I actually, if you guys watch my vlog, I went to the store, to Sally's Beauty, to get a couple of things, and this was actually one of them. And the reason why I wanted to get another curling iron, because the one I have right now is a little bit big, and I got tired of the, the curls, so I wanted something a little bit tighter, a little bit smaller, so this is my next option. Now I normally do reviews before I go in and spend some money on some hair appliances, but today I was, I purchased this on a whim and you, you guys can actually see it in the vlog. So I end up choosing Hot Shot Tools um, by Helenoff Troy. They do have a one year warranty and on the packaging it says professional salon results consistent heat locks in shine frizz free styling creates beautiful long lasting keyword long lasting defined curls this is 24 4 karat gold interesting and the highest temperature it goes to is 450 fahrenheit which is super hot Anyways, on the back it says there's a real stack control dial with variable heat settings up to 450. Mm, extra long cool tip, power indicator light, extra long thumb grip, separate on and off switch, not shown. <laughs> not shown on this thing. Um, fold away safety stand, 8 feet professional swivel cord, and 1 year warranty. I got this for... $36.99, but I also bought the $5 warranty from Sally Beauty just in case this circuit just decides to die. But speaking of that, um, this is the result. And if you guys want to see how I got it, continue watching. But let me go ahead and give my overall summary, my thoughts and whatnot. My overall thoughts on this is this is a pretty decent curling iron so far because it curls actually a little faster than my other curling iron, which is one inch and half barrel um, with the same temperature. So I don't know if it's the other one because it's old. I, I've had that one for maybe three years, two years, two years. So the handle is really good. It's easy to clamp. I do prefer clamps over wands because wands are much harder to hold. They're more dangerous, so I burn myself more with wands. So I do prefer these clips. And the cord is actually pretty long. But overall, this is, I'm gonna give it a four out of five right now because I actually don't know what a five out of five would be. But right now, this is actually pretty decent. If you guys follow my vlogs, I'll continue to do vlogs. You guys can, I'll let you guys know on there after a couple more uses so then I can give you guys a solid review on this, right? But as for first impressions and this video, I give this a four out of five. Curled pretty quickly, to be honest. Um, along with that, I use this Beyond the Zone Turn Up the Heat Flat Iron Hair Protection Spray smells amazing. This was about $8.99, but I got a little discount, which turned it to $6.22. I just got lucky today, and the lady was like, hey, there's a discount on this um, product, and go ahead and have this count discount. And I was like, oh, yeah, girl, give me that discount. Anyways, but yeah, if you guys want to see how I curl my hair, continue watching, and... I will catch you guys in my next video. So first thing we are going to do is spray Turn Up the Heat by Beyond the Zone Flat Iron Protection. Um, this is also new. If you guys watched my vlog, I just bought this at Sally Beauty. And I just want to spray a little bit. I don't want to spray too much. 
Oh my gosh, it smells so good. This smells like watermelon. Oh my god. I've never smelled flat iron heat protecting spray that smells this good. I know you're supposed to be really gentle on your hair, but sometimes I have a heavy hand and I just go a little ape when I do, do my hair. Oh my god, it smells so good and it feels instantly better. Wow. So I like to spray it kind of in the middle of my hair and then also brush it, spread it to the ends. I'm just gonna put a little bit more on the ends. This feels so good. This is seriously the best smelling flat iron heat protection. Wow. Okay, let's put a little bit on this side. I used to hate putting on heat protectant spray when I was in high school because I would break out a ton if it touches my skin. So if my hair touches my skin, my back and my chest and my neck would instantly break out. So that kind of left a bad impression on me, but you really do have to put something in your hair to protect your hair from heat. Um, heat and drying it out and getting burnt and all that crazy stuff. So I'm gonna just spread the rest that's on my finger on my bangs because I put a little bit of heat in my bangs. If you guys watched my vlog, I actually bought this curling iron a while ago and I wanted to test this out for you guys and let you guys know if it tastes or <laughs> if it tastes, if it's um, worth getting. I think a lot of salons purchase their flat irons from Sally Beauty because they're supposed to be like industrial like curling wand and stuff like that but I went and checked on Amazon what are the best options on there and there was like a few that was like $35 with different changeable wands but I was like nah, I'm just gonna go to Sally Beauty because I feel like Sally Beauty is really good and I couldn't research this one also I didn't research this one just so you guys know I went to the store and I couldn't I didn't have a signal and I normally like to um, research what I want to buy beforehand so I can kind of like get an idea what is good out there what's not good but I kind of winged this one so we're gonna find out if it's good all right let's try this I have it I've had it on for about five minutes now I have it on 380 degrees my hair is pretty thick so I kind of keep it pretty high so what I'll do first is take an inch and we'll kind of start in the middle and I'll curl it over once, bring it down all the way to the end and then bring it back up. I don't like curling all the way at the end too much. It's just not a thing for me. But if you guys, you know, do like to do that, then by all means do your hair how you would want to do it. So right now I'm just getting ready for my friend's son's birthday party. He's turning four. Okay, let's let this go. Ooh, cute. What do y'all think? We gotta let it cool down. That was pretty fast, right? So we're gonna bring it here, bring it around. I cannot count the times that I've burdened myself with some sort of hair appliance. Many times. Last year at Coachella, I had a couple of drinks <laughs> when getting ready. Another girl, it was the girl's idea of getting ready for Coachella, have a few shots. And it wasn't the brightest idea on my side because I took a few shots and I couldn't handle those shots and I was curling my hair and I ended up burning my neck. If you guys go back to see that video, you'll see me with a burnt neck. But it's finally healed and it's gone, so that was nice. And I remember in high school one time I had like a whole scab right here because I burnt my neck. 
on my head. That was fun. Good times. All right, what do you guys think? I think that's pretty cute. I like it. I like it. Okay, let's try this one. And I normally like to curl it the same way for my entire head. Which is kind of weird, right? But it's a preference. Also, this is day two of me wearing my contacts. And the fact that I can see the screen while recording, it's awesome. And that I don't have to wear glasses while recording for you guys. Pretty clutch. Okay. Ooh. Liking it. Let's try this side. So first impressions, this this is curling pretty quickly. I have a one inch and a half barrel from a similar brand like this one, and I don't know if, I just got tired of the way it curled. I, I got tired of the curls, so I wanted something smaller. Um, that way, when I brush it out, it can feel, or it can be like more bouncy. I feel like the smaller the curls, the bouncier your your hair will be. The other one was too thick, so curls weren't holding as much. And for Asian straight hair like mine, you really have to make a tight curl to keep it for the for the rest of the day, for hours, pretty much. So let's try this thick piece right here. What do you guys think about my lip color? This is Dolce Lip Liner with some lip gloss. I actually don't know the brand of this lip gloss. Um, but it's bomb. It smells like hemp oil. Okay. Cute. Do you guys like so far? Okay, so I'm going to do the rest of this. Head. I'll show you guys how I do the bangs and then I'll show you guys the end product. So for the next part, I'll show you guys how I curl my bangs, my sorry bangs. I actually do need to trim. So I'm going to grab this piece right here. Show you guys this piece. What I'll do is curl it outwards. So I'm going to bring it to this area first. And then, kind of slowly bring it out like this. Slowly. I didn't get the ends that good. Do it again. It'll take a couple of times. Bring it out to the ends. And bam. I hate curling my hair because it always makes me like super hot. So what you want to do is kind of like flip it out at the end. And then what I'll do here is kind of bring it to the side. And then try to check for which areas that need a little bit more attention. So I'm going to add a little bit more curl in this side right here I'm not gonna bring it all the way down because this bottom parts are already curled so I'm just gonna bring it to that area I normally like to hold it for about five six seconds and voila so we are using Fabulous Hair Firm Voluminizing Hairspray. This is compared to Big Sexy Spray. I don't like the smell of this that much. Um, and I actually forgot to get the fruit teas when I was actually out purchasing um, hair products. So let me go ahead and take this off. And what I'm going to do is just brush through all of my hair.
So here's the finished look. What do you guys think? Ta -da. I have a few more layers on this side than I do this side. And it's because of where my crease is, but yeah. You know, I think this curling iron worked pretty well. I'm trying to get the hang of my shorter bangs right now and it's acting a little crazy, but it's doable, right? What do you guys think? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you do like this video. Um, share it with your friends, your mama, your dad, your auntie, your cousins, your sis. And I will catch you guys in my next video.